Good afternoon, everyone. Thanks for joining us. Welcome to another episode of the Real Estate Playbook. Another beautiful Sunday here in Tampa, Florida. My name is Paul, and today we have a repeat guest for you. Uh, we are over Zoom, as you can tell if you're watching from the video here, because she is busy. She's got kids. She lives far from the office, so we're happy to accommodate. Uh, our repeat guest today is Ms. Brooke Overton. How are you, Brooke? Good. How are you, Paul? Doing pretty well. Thanks for asking. Thanks for uh, joining us again. I really appreciate you. Absolutely. My pleasure. Thanks for having well, me. Yeah, awesome. Glad to have you back here. So, Brooke, um, for people that did not see your last appearance on the show, could you tell us just a little bit about yourself and kind of what you do? Yeah, so I was, um, I graduated at State University of Buffalo in 2012 um, with a bachelor's in pharmacology, moved down to Florida three days later, um, no pharmacology jobs. So, um, served tables, and then I had my kids, so I was a stay-at-home mom for like four years and then I just wanted to find a career that I could um, be present for my kids not like a nine to five but also have the opportunity to really work and you know build myself and build my career and my business and just have something that fit my lifestyle and um, while still helping people and having that customer service based business mm -hmm. yeah that's awesome so Brooke how long have you been uh, licensed as a realtor now Three years. Three years. Awesome. Yeah. I'm sure you've learned a lot in three years. It doesn't yeah. sound like that much time, but you learn so yeah. much in this job, yeah. you know, every single day. For so sure. um, something that comes up on here a lot and that I started talking about on this show when I had Ann Carlson on like forever ago. Yeah. Um, shout out to Ann. Yeah. Uh, love <laughs> Ann. Absolutely. She's amazing. She's she awesome. wrote this book uh, and the book is called So You Think You Want to Be a Real Estate Agent. Yeah. And it was basically her talking about, because she's been doing it, you know, X amount of years, a long time. Yeah. It was her talking about um, things that people, misconceptions that they have about real estate as a career, as a job yeah. field, as an industry, um, mm -hmm. which is sort of meant to, I don't want to say scare away people that aren't serious yeah. about it, but in, in, a, in a sense it is. Yeah. Um, so, so I'm sure you've had similar, um, what's the word I'm looking for, insights about the real estate career. Um, things, things that you didn't expect or things that other people misunderstand. So what, what's one big thing that you feel like people maybe misunderstand about real estate as a career in general? I think a lot of people think when they start real estate that they're going to make money right away and it's going to be easy money and it's going to be quick and, you know, it's going to be like the stress-free, really we get to make our own schedule. Um, you know, you're going to just be driving around your convertible beaches, sunshine, rainbows. And it's, uh, it's, it's a lot of hard work, you know, and it's not just, you don't clock out nine to five or nine to nine. You know, if you're a good agent, you're answering your phone. Anytime your clients need you, you know, they really put their trust in you to hold their hand from start to finish, you know, and it's not a product, you're influencing somebody's lives. You know, these are people's lives and home means so much and so much to somebody that maybe has never had a home, you know, or own a home or they have kids and they're transitioning or we're combining families now and we found our forever home, but something happened with, you know, a home we are selling and like, you have to be able to absorb all of that and, you know, calm the storm. And I never expected, first of all, how much I love what I do. Um, but second of all, how many hours I would work a week. <laughs> yeah. Um, so it's, it's, it's pretty nonstop. Um, but I'm, I'm very blessed to have the opportunity to serve all of the clients that I do and very grateful for each and every one of them. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. I think I've heard that a lot before about, um, you know, that being a common misconception um, yeah. that you, it's just fast money, it's easy, et cetera. Yeah. Um, do you think that's something that people need to realize before they start working in this career? Or is it something that you can kind of learn on the fly and adjust for? I think you need to realize that before you're starting because you can't, um, it's a real character building career. You know, um, you learn so much as you go about yourself, about your ability to help others, um, but also about kind of absorbing the shock of situations and smoothing it over so that you're 
clients are on this roller coaster ride with you, you know, having many heart attacks with you, um, that the experience is, you know, a pleasant one, as pleasant as it can be, or at least not as, as, as stressful as it is for you. Make sure that they have a better experience than you're having, you know, yeah. trying to keep, um, you know, both sides together at, at times. Sometimes yeah, it's very smooth, you know, but um, with changing markets, interest rate hikes, things like that. Um, yeah, it's been uh, a challenging, you know, the past couple months, but very rewarding. Yeah, absolutely. I think uh, we talked a little bit about the market um, the last time you were on, Brooke, yeah. and that was only just maybe a month ago. Has there yeah. been any other significant changes since then, or has it been kind of holding yeah. steady? Yeah. Um, it depends. So it's just really all about pricing. I mean, it's still a seller's market. If you're pricing right, your house is still going to get sold, you know, two two weeks is, is pretty normal for it to go under contract, not two days anymore. But um, if you overprice your home and think in any way, this is March or April or May even, um, it's, it's not going to go well at all for you. And it's not your agent's fault if they properly educated you. Um, and, and, you know, you wanted to just go a little bit higher and now you're really harking on your agent because your house isn't being sold. I mean, it really is important to price right off the bat there. You cannot recover from that. Even if you do a price drop two weeks later, four weeks later, you, you've lost money, a significant amount of money by not pricing and going with what your agent is telling you. Um, and if it's a 54 agent, you know, they're always going to be honest with their pricing. Like, this is what I can get you. I know there's a lot of agents out there that will say, hey, look, I can get you more. But the reality of it is, you know, the market sets the price and yeah. um, that's creating false hope. And I know that we don't do that at 54. So I, I've, I've had a couple, um, you know, instances where there's been listings that have been overpriced. And they're sitting. Um, however, I've had other listings that they're pricing perfectly and they're still going in two days, you know, five days. So it's definitely still a, a nice hot market. It's cooling. But um, as long as you're not overpriced, then you're going to be great. Mm -hmm. Awesome. So more than ever, it's important to have a real estate agent who kind of stays up to date with this stuff. Absolutely. Yep. And, absolutely. And yep. has your best interest in mind, you know? Yes, definitely. Yeah, absolutely. So um, talking about the career a little bit more, Brooke, yeah. um, we always talk about how funny it is on here, you know, the different perceptions that people have of real estate and, and mm -hmm. what they think it is that real estate agents do, so on and so forth. Um, and I always find it funny when talking about like my job to family and friends, the different ways that they kind of describe what I do. Right. And sometimes it sounds really funny because they don't really, they're not really sure what it is that I do. You know what I mean? Right, so, right, right. Yeah. So I was wondering, you know, how would your family or your friends kind of describe what you do, the people that you know that aren't in the real estate business? Um, they, well, my father, uh, my stepfather, he just says I'm scrolling on my phone all the time. <laughs> <laughs> so he thinks I'm just like a massive scroller. Um, yeah. And then my family, my kids, they just see me talking all the time on the phone always on the computer um but they love going once in a while I'll take them to a showing if you know my clients have kids or something they love that they love seeing like final walkthroughs you know sometimes yeah. I'll take yeah. them to that um but my husband's an agent too so um it's you know a fa kind of a family thing they just really see me on the phone all the time trying to help people so. Well, that's cool. Maybe one day, you know, they'll get their license. <laughs> yeah, for sure. They're my um, little showing assistants, you know. There you go. They can start putting on their resumes. We have X yeah, amount of years sure. of experience. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's <laughs> Take funny. Take your child to work funny. day. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, Brooke, um, in any career, real estate or otherwise, um, you know, talking about kids, talking about family, it's important yeah. to have people that have a positive influence on your career, whether it is family, yeah. friends, or like a mentor or something. I'm curious because you've been pretty successful in your three years. If you could tell me about some of the people that have had like a positive impact on your career. Yeah. So um, my best friend, Erlina, I grew up with her. She joined like five years ago. Um, 
she always, you know, pushed me to join with 54. And I was just like, no, you know, I don't think I can match that skill level. And she was just really the driving force behind, you know, like I've known you your whole life. You can absolutely do this. And I think it's going to provide you with a different, you know, like a, a new life, you know, it really has. Um, also like leadership at 54. Um, I really love like um, I really just love what Rose and Joe stand for in their business and customer service. And, um, and then I love, you know, the team leads we have are awesome. I text everybody with all my questions all the time. Definitely not afraid to ask questions. <laughs> um, and then my kids obviously uh, motivate me to uh, always do my best, just like any mom, you know, and then um honestly the healthcare system um with my kids you know I've had to navigate that for seven years it's extremely difficult and it literally has provided me the skills to not give up on transactions I I say it all the time you know like I've been through this before with insurance companies and now I'm going through this with lenders or or actually insurance companies just of a different sort you know it's just persistence, never giving up, um, never giving up on the people that are trusting you to get this job done for them, you know? So. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Well, that's awesome, Brooke. Um, talking about how sort of Arlena kind of gave you the motivational push to like take the jump in the career. Yeah. Um, have you had to sort of be an Arlena to anybody else and kind of be like, listen, you can do this, whether it be new people on the team absolutely. or anyone else? Yeah, uh, absolutely. With my husband, um, you know, um, he's actually, he always wanted to be an agent since probably like seven years ago. And, and he would, you know, probably bring it up every couple months. He, he's one who will just sit on Zillow for hours, just looking at houses. He loves houses. Um, <laughs> and then, you know, my brother-in-law, he just started, um, his awesome. name's Byron and I've been getting on him for a while, just telling him like, you, you're determined, you're smart, like, you know, you're charismatic and you care about people. Like, this is a great fit for you. And, and he's, you know, he's already closed his first deal. He nice. just started. And then, um, we have a team of employee agents that are awesome. You know, I'm definitely always there to answer any of their questions if they call which is usually pretty much daily, you know, um, or I'm one of like the few agents that are in the South, you know, so a lot of people up North, if they're doing transactions down here and they'll just call me for questions, like, is this customary and, you know, in the South and I'll just tell them, look, we usually like do it like this or, um, but yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. I think it's so important for people in this field to be supportive of each other because- absolutely. So often you hear about, um, I don't know if this is the way things used to be, or if this is just the way that some people see it, where it's like a yeah. dog eat dog kind of world. Oh, but I yeah. think, yeah, I think it's important to sort of try and push back against that and be really supportive. Absolutely. Of it is not at 54. We don't, we don't run it like that. You know what I'm saying? It's not ran like that. There's an attitude of, you know, Amy said it best actually on a Facebook post I think it was, you know, you can't beat me if I want you to win too. And, yeah, and that's yeah. really the mentality. Amy's been there forever. You know, that's really the mentality. All, all, you know, Chevy, there's just so many. I could keep going on Alexis, you know, um, every time I run into scenarios, I just, I just seek out and ask questions and there's always so much support. Mm -hmm. I love that. Yeah, me too. It's great. <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. So Brooke, um, like we were saying, you know, a lot of things can happen in three years. Yeah. I'm wondering what is, it doesn't have to be the biggest one necessarily, but what yeah. is a, a lesson that you've learned uh, in your career so far? Yeah, so I have learned, um, and actually Erin Bayer, who's our, one of our preferred lenders now, she's okay. really taught me this. Yeah. Shout out to Erin. Um, I used to ride these emotions with my clients, you know, I really yeah. would. And I have learned how to stay positive, how to stay calm and how to 
uh, maybe talk with my my circle. I'll call Arlene, I'll call Erin, you know, I'll call Allison if it's really complicated and I need help. And, and she's there yesterday on a Saturday as I have like a disaster, you know, going on right now that's completely on my control that here I, I need to fix this, you know. Um, it's Saturday, but business doesn't stop on Saturday, you know. Yeah. And um, She's really taught me how to just stay calm and has shown me so many times when deals look like they're falling apart financially, you know, um, she saves them. And at, honestly, that's really, it, it always kind of works out, you know, and even if it doesn't work out for that house, like there was a reason, maybe that pipe was going to burst two months after you moved in or that AC unit just was going to kick the dust two days after you signed, you know, mm -hmm. everything definitely happens for a reason. So I've learned how to, um, you know, really be there to help calm my clients down. And it's made me a better agent, how to then help calm the other side down, like the co the co-agent, you know, and really, get the emotions and get the egos out of there. I have absolutely no ego, you know, um, and that's a big problem in this business. Sometimes people can't see over their own egos, you know, it's really hard to communicate when you have that big wall up. So I just try to be an agent that, you know, let's break that down. Let's just talk. Let's really mastermind how we're going to get through this problem. And, um, yeah, I'm still, I'm still getting better at it, you know, and, um, yeah. Awesome. So Dealing with the unexpected is an important, yeah. important thing to learn. I would, I would yeah, say. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm, definitely. Absolutely, and of course, Erin was on the show last week, actually. So I would recommend people yeah. check that out. She's awesome. Yeah, for sure. She, yeah. she, she really is great. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Absolutely. So Brooke, I know this is uh, this next one is kind of a hard question to answer, and mm -hmm. usually when I ask it, people are like, "I don't know, Paul." You know. <laughs> right. <laughs> but, right. But I'm gonna ask you anyway, just to see kind of what you think. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> let's say you stay in the world of real estate for another five years mm -hmm. in the next five years, what do you think the world of real estate might look like? If you could give your best guess there. I don't know. I think the whole I buyer thing, thankfully is like not so open. People aren't so open to that. You've seen, you know, open door, get hit Zillow, stop selling homes completely. Like it's not, it's not all it's cracked up to be this relationship this what we do for our clients this cannot be replicated by a computer by a corporation this is a personal relationship you know and you need to fully trust that person what I hope to see is um you know just more honest agents just better just more wholesome you know agents really acting in the best interest for their clients that's what I hope to see, you know, I hope yeah. to see more 54 agents, you know, I, I hope to see that customer service mentality to this career. Um, yeah. Yeah, I definitely agree with you. I, I think it's super important. Like I know that uh, technology is a big part of this industry and I'm sure it's, yeah. it's helped you guys in a lot of ways and helped clients yeah. in a lot of ways. But like mm -hmm. you said, you really, you can't replace that personal touch that comes with working with somebody with your best interest in mind versus exactly. an artificial intelligence or an algorithm mm -hmm. or whatever it might be. You know what I mean? Exactly. Yeah. hundred percent. Mm -hmm. For sure. So Brooke, we kind of like blew through those questions there. Very natural yeah. conversation. I appreciate you coming on. Yeah, as of always. course. Thanks for having uh, me. Yeah, no problem. I'm going to end with uh, one question here, which another one that's kind of tricky to answer, but <laughs> yeah. I'm interested to see what you will say. Um, okay. So I've, I've been trying to get insights into the different things that people are influenced by in this career, yeah. as is evidenced by all the questions I just asked you there, but right, um, right. specifically the impact that um, the media, I don't know if that's the right way to put it, but pieces of media have on people mm -hmm. or art, however you want to phrase that. Um, so I started asking this question at the end, and I'd love to hear your answer. If okay. you could recommend to the audience um, a book or a movie or a podcast or a TV show or whatever it might be um, yeah. that's had an impact on you, what would that be? Um, in the last year, I've been working so much. I don't really um, have time to really read or watch anything, honestly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> However, before bed, when I'm trying to like unwind, you know, um, usually I'm still taking calls and texts. However, in, in the perfect world, maybe two nights a week, I just like to wear, watch some Jersey Shore, just some, you know, uh, 
challenge or like big brother, just something light, you know, and forget about everything for one hour so that I can just recharge my bats for the next day. Yeah, no, I, I think that's awesome, Brooke, because yeah. um, a lot of times I haven't asked this question a whole bunch yet, but I'm sure a lot of the answers are going to be big, sort of profound, deep things like, oh, this right. book changed my life and so on and so forth. Right. But it's important to remember that every once in a while, it's all right to give yourself a little break. You don't always have yeah. to be always have to be thinking about career and, and personality and all this other yeah. stuff. It's important to just take it easy every once in a while. <laughs> For sure. And then I'll just add in, you know, the um, the doom and gloom that like the media presents sometimes make me laugh. You know, it really does yeah. make me laugh <laughs> because the same people spreading, you know, the rates, the, the housing recession, this, that, the other. They're the same people buying up all the property cash. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, I actually have a guy I work with who, who you know, um, he's an investor and he like confirmed it. And I was telling him, you know, like that you know like 10 percent of these properties are actually bought and sold to um members of wall, wall street you know he was mm -hmm. like actually it's more like 15 percent, and i'm one of those people that you talk about and it was like Woo. oh burn you know okay <laughs> um but he he confirmed it you know so yeah. it's definitely not doom and gloom you know um it's a great time to buy a house for sure and um yeah there's nothing better you can do than invest in yourself so I completely agree with you, Brooke. That's a great way to end the show. I appreciate you bringing your positivity as always. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Paul. I appreciate you. No problem. Is there anything uh, before we let you go that you want to promote, like social media or anything like that? Um, I'm, I, I'm great with Facebook, you know. Oh. I'm learning how to TikTok, okay? <laughs> I, I'm learning the Instagram. I'm only 32, but um, my technology skill, I don't know. That's why we have a marketing team. You know, Paul? I don't That's know, right. I don't need to know any of this. So <laughs> I can Facebook like a pro though. So, hey, that, that's okay, right? Well, there you go. And listen, people can always find uh, the 54 team at the 54 Realty Absolutely. account. So yeah. that's a good place to start, I would say. Yeah, yeah, for sure. That's why we got you, Paul. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Um. And a shout out to the rest of the marketing team, by the Absolutely. way. Absolutely. They they're their amazing. Definitely. Yes. Awesome. Well, Brooke, thanks again for joining us. Thank um, you, Paul. No problem. To everyone who's listening, watching, et cetera, we appreciate you. Uh, we'll see you next week. As always, keep up to date on the social media and feel free to subscribe so you can uh, hear our voices every week. Take care. Um.